Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to Around the Table Sports. Now today is a video I've been thinking about for a long time. I've had a lot of conversations with some of my friends about it and it has to do with Alabama Crimson Tide football. So before we get into it, as always, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below letting me know what you think about what we're about to talk about. And if you enjoy the video, drop a like. Y'all, likes and comments on smaller YouTube channels really do do wonders for the YouTube algorithm. And it really does help younger channels like mine grow. In the past week, we've gone from 60 subscribers to 270 subscribers. And that's a growth I'd really like to keep doing because I enjoy interacting with y'all. I love talking down in the comments. Even if you don't agree with me, I love understanding where I might be wrong, where you're coming from. I think that's the perfect thing about sports is it's the one thing that we really, if, if you love sports, you love talking about it. Even if you don't agree with the person you're talking about it with, which is an awesome trait to have that's really necessary in society as a whole. So, you know, let me get off my soapbox and let's hop straight into this video. So the week leading up to the SEC championship was very intriguing because there was a lot of rumors about Steve Sarkeesian interviewing for the Auburn head coaching job. Now, I think all of us in the SEC would have been absolutely blown away if he took that job, right? Like, First off, going to another SEC West team would have been very hard-pressed for Sark leaving Alabama going to another SEC West team, and it's an entirely thing to go from an SEC, from Alabama to Auburn, right? Like, that's a move that would take a certain level of disrespect, and I just couldn't see Sark doing that, right? Like, you, that's some disrespectful <laughs> movements just because of the bad blood between Alabama and Auburn. It's a heated rivalry. That just would, that'd make him the most hated figure in Tuscaloosa, maybe ever, right? And that's saying something. So, I don't think a lot of people took that too seriously. Although, you know, for Sark, looking at this only purely from Sark's perspective, that's a great opportunity. The Auburn head coaching job, they have the economic means to pay you. He could get a staff around him because I think Sark could really excite some people to really want to come there and change some things. But nonetheless, Auburn ended up getting their guy and it was not Sark. And in fact, Sark, I believe, even withdrew his name from consideration because... It is reported now that the University of Alabama is working on a massive contract extension with Steve Sarkeesian. And the interesting thing about this is last season, I have one of my best friends played cornerback at UTSA. And he and I are always talking about football. And after last season, when Steve Sarkeesian was being considered for, and drop a comment down below if I get this wrong, but I believe it was Colorado or Colorado State. He was being considered for the head coaching job, and he decided to come back and be the offensive coordinator for another year at the University of Alabama. If I'm not mistaken, the report said something along the lines of he didn't like how he left the first time, having not been there very long, and he actually wanted to stay there, learn, and kind of, you know, make a name for himself there. Well, he's certainly done that this year, and I, I told my buddy at the end of last year, if Steve Sarkeesian is still on the Alabama Crimson Tide staff next year, I have a feeling about something. The feeling I have is Crimson Tide fans, there's a growing concern amongst us that Nick Saban isn't getting any younger, and eventually he will no longer be the head football coach at the University of Alabama. Now, the one thing that I think is super important is that it matters who Alabama gets to replace Saban. Of course, X's and O's matters because Alabama is a proud program. They have a long lineage of success in college football, and it's something they'd like to keep going. But I also mean what Saban himself has done culturally, educationally, everything for that city, right? You need somebody that is going to continue on that path and not go the other way. So when, when, when you hear that Sark is a guy that was a coordinator in the NFL. He was a former head coach, and I understand that didn't work out well, but he has done leaps and bounds to kind of correct his image from those USC days, and I do believe he's done a phenomenal job. I mean, he just put his nose to the dirt and worked, and didn't ask for anything, just worked. And you really love to see it, right? It's, it's the kind of comeback story you're really, really rooting for, because I think Sark's a good guy. He certainly recruited phenomenally for the University of Alabama, and he has been a massive help to the university because his offensive schemes are brilliant. So why do I keep bringing up Sark? And why did I bring up Saban retiring? Crimson Tide fans, let me know what y'all think. Do you think it's a possibility that the University of Alabama is hanging on to Steve Sarkeesian because they are wanting to start prepping him to be the next head coach of Alabama? Personally, I think it kind of makes sense, right? Like, if Sark didn't leave, to me, he was promised either an inordinate amount of money, 
he's really enjoying his time there, or he genuinely thinks there is a path to him being the next head coach at University of Alabama. Now, whether he wants that or not, I don't know, right? That comes with some pretty big shoes to fill because you're filling in for Nick Saban, the greatest college football coach of all time. Bear Bryant was incredible, but Nick Saban did this in the era of scholarship limits, which completely changes the game. That alone, to me, gives him the nod over a Bear Bryant. The, the problem is, though, is... I don't know whether or not Sark will want the job because, like I said, the cloud that hangs over it because of the history and the lineage of Alabama football, that's a tough job to have. However, I do believe that it is becoming increasingly more likely that Sark believes there's a path to become the head football coach of the University of Alabama. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, right? If y'all disagree, absolutely let me know down below. But understand where I'm coming from. If it's true about them wanting him at Auburn, He's probably been asked about other head coaching jobs, right? Auburn wasn't the only one. I bet there were a lot of programs that were going to come after Sark. He knew he could have been a head coach somewhere. He had head coaching job offers last year, and he's choosing to stay as an offensive coordinator at Alabama. Now, it is Alabama. That is a fair point for anybody that's going to say that. He knows he can attach his name to a lot of success. He can learn from the greatest coach that ever lived, as far as college is concerned, and, you know, kind of ride off into the sunset in that regards. But I think Sark has something bigger on his mind. And I actually think Saban really trusts Sark. And there's a reason that Saban chose Sark to fill in for him when he was down with COVID. Because he trusts him, right? It's somebody that Saban feels comfortable with. And I think that Saban always really respected Kiffin. But I don't think they really got along. Because they're almost anti each other, if y'all get what I mean. Like, they're anti each other's personalities, but at the same time, those sort of people usually have a great respect for each other because they want to like each other. They're just so far apart that they can't. They just don't really get along. I think Saban and Kiffin like each other. I just don't think that they really get along, if you if you get what I mean. It's a great mutual respect between them. They both really in, like have enjoyed working with the other, but I don't think they get along greatly. I think Sark is a little different. I think he's got an offensive mind similar to Kiffin, but I think he gets along with Saban much better, and I think Saban really trusts him, and I think that's saying something. And I think Sark, in coming back to Alabama, would be putting a good deal of faith in the University of Alabama. And I don't know, it just kind of feels to me like this could be a move where the University of Alabama is trying to prep their next head football coach. So Crimson Tide Nation, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as always. That's it. See ya.